I know what some of you guys are thinking. Another video today. Yeah, I already released one this morning about like my lighting situation and stuff, <laughs> testing out some new lighting. But I know that that's not what most people are interested in on this channel. Uh, although I will give a little update on that. I filmed that and it took a few days to edit. Where I ended up placing the little extra lights uh, were over here and here, and I still have my big paper lantern over on the other side. So I used a more as fill lighting here and lighting on my green screen from that angle. This is my setup, by the way, if you want to see where I'm, I'd be sitting in this chair right here, basically set up exactly like this as I'm recording right now. Anyway, there's that little update on that. Now, for what most of you are actually here for is uh, PC technology, hardware news kinds of things, and I'm probably going to title this video something uh, a little dramatic like the uh, RX 6900 XT loses to the 3080 in, uh, in a leaked benchmark or something like that. Uh, but like, let's talk about why that actually isn't a big deal, okay? Okay, so here's what's going on. There's an Ashes of the Singularity benchmark website, right? So Ashes of the Singularity is uh, a, a game. So this is a gaming benchmark, but what people need to understand about this is it's primarily CPU bound when you get to these higher level graphics cards. So this is primarily CPU bound, which is why I don't think it matters at all <laughs> that the 6900 XT is slightly losing to a 3080 or a 3090 in this benchmark. Notice that it's basically tied with a 6800 XT, but we know that it will perform better than a 6800 XT, considering it basically is a 6800 XT with more compute units and better clocks, right? So uh, this tells me that this is just bound by the CPU, and this is absolutely nothing to be concerned about if you're thinking about the performance of a 6900 XT, and is it gonna beat a 3080? I'm sure there will be games where the 3080 beats it, because there are games that are favored by Nvidia. We know that, right? That's just a thing. <laughs> uh, but there's definitely going to be games where the 6900 XT is stomping all over a 3080 and even a 3090. And again, don't panic. If you're thinking about, like, is this card going to do well, whatever, don't let somebody else, like, spoil this and, you know, or my, my clickbaity title if I end up going with that. Uh, it's, it's fine, guys. This is bound by the CPU. Don't even worry about it. Uh, anyway, if you want the details on the system this was tested on and everything like that, you could take a look here. Um, blah, 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 blah. All right, so there's the details. Now, again, I never want to act like I'm creating this content if I didn't. I'm not stealing anybody's content here. This is from videocards.com. I didn't make these graphs. Uh, I'm just reporting on it, and I will link everything in my descriptions, as my usual subscribers are aware of. And thank you, everybody, who has subscribed to my channel. Uh, this is, oh, it's December 4th. I believe I posted, like, one of my first videos here on, I think it was, like... October 6th or something like that. So we're just about on the two month anniversary of my little uh, technology, gaming, PC, whatever it is, still figuring it out sort of channel here. All right, anyway, do we have any other interesting news since that didn't take a whole lot of time to report on? Uh, well, we do have, so uh, I think it was yesterday I reported that the some MSI motherboards uh, we're adding the resizable bar, or in other words, basically smart access memory support to some of their 400 series motherboards, which was good news, right? Because that means more people are getting support for that, and it was even on Intel platforms. Now, here's kind of something interesting. Apparently, in the screenshots where that was released, when you look at CPU-Z in, the, in these, uh, in these um, screenshots, that's Rocket Lake, guys. They were showing this using an unreleased Rocket Lake C uh, <laughs> CPU. And um, this particular model seemed to be uh, a 4.3 gigahertz, uh, but did have a multiplier of 50. So a multiplier of 50 should mean that this would go up to five gigahertz on the turbos, right? So that's kind of an interesting thing. Again, if you wanna look at more of these details, there's a link to this in the description of the video. Now, speaking of Rocket Lake, and speaking of Ashes of the Singularity, we've got a theme today, guys. The theme is Ashes of the Singularity benchmark website leaks and Rocket Lake, apparently. Uh, so <laughs> uh, there was an Ashes of the Singularity leak showing the uh, Rocket Lake flagship here, guys. That's the 11900K. I think that would be our uh, one of our top level uh, core i9s, right? If you're getting used to, in, like Intel, these naming schemes, like. 
I mean, I get that a lot of computer parts have like really terrible naming schemes, but this is starting to get just really terrible to look at. 11900K Core i9, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky here, but that's not the point of this video. It's not to complain about the naming scheme. The point is, here's your Core i9. Here's how it did. Now, uh, people have replied to this saying that, well, how does the Ryzen 9 5950X do? Because, right, it's the, the big news story here, right, is that AMD has recently, finally, at least tied or possibly overtaken Intel in the gaming crown on the CPUs uh, by, by increasing their single core performance quite a bit. Now, Again, depending on who actually wins depends a lot on which game you're benchmarking. But they, they've at least tied, if not beaten, Intel. Um, and so the question is, will Intel's next gen be able to, to take the crown back? Well, not according to this benchmark, at least. But again, this is one particular game, and we know that different games will favor different platforms. Uh, so people are replying that their 5950X Ryzen's are scoring uh, 7,100, whereas this is scoring 6,400. So, I don't know. Like I said, one particular leaked benchmark in one particular game is not gonna be something that we need to worry too much about. And if you're interested in this, again, Video Cards has a nice little chart here. All right, guys, I'm sitting right here and I've got to, on my break, that's when I'm filming this, and I need to get back to teaching math class, which is my actual job, and my break's just about over. So I hope you guys have an excellent day and we can discuss all this stuff in the comments section.